Happy holidays, my friends! In this video, I'll show you how you can create this incredible inverted morph text effect in PowerPoint. And by the way, there's a new year sale happening right now on pptskill.com. You can grab my PowerPoint Animation Mastery course with 50% off. Just make sure you're using the coupon code 50 off at checkout and you'll be good to go. And now let's go. Okay, my dear friends, let's jump into this empty fresh blank new slide where we can start creating everything together from scratch. And first of all, we need to find a beautiful picture that we could use. And for that, let's jump into freepick.com. Here at the top, you can see the exact link. Link is in the description. And now we can copy this image by clicking on this little button. Let's click copy the image. That's beautiful. And before we jump into PowerPoint, let's actually jump into Photopea. And over here, let's just click Control V to paste the image. That's nice. And now let's do a couple of adjustments. And first of all, I would like to crop this image to 16 by 9. So let's go to the crop tool. Let's make sure that we're using the fixed ratio 16 by 9. OK, you can adjust the photo up and down if you like. And once you're happy, just click on the check mark to apply the changes. That's beautiful. And now we can download this image. Let's go to File, Export As, and let's choose JPEG. Now let's give any name that we like, for example, BG, and let's click on Save. That's beautiful. And next, my friends, let's create an inverted version of this image as well. So to invert this photo, all we have to do is go to Adjustments, and let's add an Invert Adjustment Layer. Here it is, invert, let's click on it, and skadoosh, our photo has been inverted. Okay, and once again, let's just go to File, Export As, let's choose a JPEG, you can go with PNG as well, but JPEG takes up less space. Let's give it a name and let's click on Save. And just like that, we have all of the images that we need. We have the original photo with all of the colors and we have the inverted image as well. And now we can get back to PowerPoint. And now on this empty slide, let's make sure we go to insert pictures, this device. And let's find that first image with all of the colors. Here it is. Let's click on it. That's beautiful. And it seems that this photo perfectly fits to our slide because it has been cropped to 16 by 9. But I think we can reduce the brightness of this photo. So for that, let's jump into format picture. Let's find that brightness slider and let's reduce the brightness. I'm using minus 40%. You can, of course, use any amount that you like. And additionally, let's add an inside shadow to this photo. So let's pick this preset. OK, and for the blur, let's go with the maximum amount. And this way we have added a beautiful vignette effect to our photo. That's super duper awesome. And now, my friends, to save some time, let me jump back to my original slide and let me copy a couple of slide design elements. We have a logo at the top, a little line, and we have a line at the bottom and a couple of text boxes at the bottom as well. Let's copy all of these guys and let's paste them into our slide. That's beautiful. So here is a logo, here is a little line, a little line at the bottom, and three text boxes. I think these little elements just give a bit more substance to our slide. That's beautiful. And next, my friends, let's insert a huge text box in the middle of the slide. So let's go to insert. Let's click on text box and let's click anywhere on the slide and let's type in anything that we wish. For example, invert it. And now let's position this text box to the middle and center of the slide. That's beautiful. And now for this text box, I'm using this free, beautiful Google font called Antonio. Link is in the video description. Font size 165. Font color white. OK. That's super duper awesome. OK, my friends, and now let me adjust the letter spacing a bit. Let's go to more spacing. And now let's go to character spacing and let's make sure we have condensed turned on. And I'm using eight points to make all of those letters a bit tighter, just like that. And now if we wish, we can make our text box italic and this way add that dynamic look to our text. That's looking beautiful. And now let's move this text box to the left side of the slide. We can hold down the shift key to drag our text in a straight line. And all that I'm doing is trying to align the left side of the text with the left side of the logo so that everything looks uh, well aligned and balanced. That's beautiful. And next, let's add a huge circle in the middle of the slide. And for that, we can jump into insert shapes. Let's find the circle tool and now we can hold down the shift key to draw a perfect circle. And now for the height and width, I'm using 14 centimeters. And now once again, let's make sure that this circle is sitting in the center and middle of the slide, just like that. And let's send it one step backwards so that we can see our text. 
And now, my friends, let's actually copy this blue circle and let's insert a fresh blank new slide and let's paste this guy over here. It's going to be our backup because later on we'll have to use this circle a few more times. And it's always a good idea to have a backup. So let's get back to our slide where we have this white beautiful text box. And now, my friends, let's duplicate it and let's turn it black. So let's just hit Ctrl D to duplicate this text box. Let's move it to the side. And let's add a black fill to this text. That's beautiful. And currently, this is an editable text box. Let's turn it into a picture. And the quickest way to do that is just hit Ctrl X to cut and hit Ctrl V to paste. And let's just make sure that we paste it as a picture and skadoosh. Now our text has been converted to a picture. Okay. As you can see, once we select this black text, we have this picture format tab at the top. And next, let's make sure that we place this black text image on top of the white text box, just like that. You don't have to be super precise, this is good enough. And now as you can see, this black text image has this kind of empty space around itself. And we would like to actually expand this empty space to the right side of the slide. Okay, and to do that, we can make sure that the image is selected. Let's go to picture format, let's click on crop. And now we can use these black handles, okay? So let's just grab this black handle on the right. Let's move it to the right edge of the slide. And we can bring in the left handle if we wish, just to keep it clean. And now as you can see that empty space, you know, covers the whole width of the slide. And thanks to that, everything should work as expected later on. And now my friends, let's make sure that this black text is only visible where the circle is. So for that, let's make sure that the black text image is selected. Hold down the shift key, select the circle. Now let's go to shape format, let's go to merge shapes, and let's choose intersect. And now only that part where the circle was is visible. But as you can see at the same time, the circle has disappeared because we have used it for the intersecting. That's why it's always a good idea to have a backup of, you know, useful elements. So let's paste in the blue circle into our slide and let's send it one step backwards so that we can see our black text. That is beautiful. And at this point, we should have three layers, the black text, the blue circle and the white text box at the bottom. That's beautiful. And now, my friends, we can basically duplicate this slide and do a couple of changes. So let's duplicate the slide. OK. And now on this duplicate slide, let's grab this white text box, hold down the shift key and let's drag it to the right side. This time, once again, let's try to keep everything aligned. And now for this black text, let's make sure it is selected. Let's go to crop. And now let's move this black text image inside of the crop area so that it covers the white text once again. We can zoom in if we want to be a bit more precise. But as I've mentioned before, we don't have to be super precise. This is good enough. That's looking good. And now let's make sure that for the second slide, we apply the morph transition, which should do all of the animation magic. You can keep the morph transition for the first slide as well. And now let's check it out on the full screen. And now as you can see, when the text is moving through the circle, it is black. And when it sticks out, it is white. And this way we get that beautiful inverted morph text effect. That's looking beautiful, but we can make this slide design even more interesting by using that inverted image that we have created in the beginning of this tutorial. So let me go to pictures. Let's go to this device. And here it is, the inverted photo that we have made. Okay. Let's uh, make sure that we send this inverted image a couple of steps backwards so that we can see that blue circle as well. And now let's select this inverted photo. Let's hold down the shift key to select the circle. Let's go to shape format, merge shapes, and let's choose intersect. So we basically have filled that circle with this inverted image. That's beautiful. And let me do a couple of adjustments to this inverted photo. First of all, I would like to drop down the saturation so that this image becomes a black and white. You know, this is my personal choice. You can do everything that you wish. And I think we could increase the brightness a bit. So let me add 20% so that we have a bit more contrast. That's looking good. And now let's cap this circle with the inverted photo inside and let's paste it into the second slide as well. Before that, we can delete the blue circle. Let's paste in the new circle and let's send it a couple of steps backwards so that we can see all of the text. And now let's check it out once again on the full screen. And now, as you can see, we get the same effect, but this time our text is traveling through this beautiful inverted black and white photo. 
that's looking beautiful but once again we can make it a bit more interesting so let's jump to the second slide and now let's select the circle and let's flip it horizontally so on the second slide it is flipped horizontally and on the first slide you know it is the way it was and now let's check it out on the full screen and let's see what kind of effect we'll get and as soon as I move to the second slide, we get this beautiful 3D spinning circle in the center of the slide. And at the same time, we get that, you know, intersecting black text effect as well. That's super duper awesome. But of course, my friends, there's always something more that we can do. And in this case, I think we should add a simple white circle in the background just to pronounce that black inverted text a bit better. So let's make sure that this blue circle is center aligned. Let's fill it with white, no outline, and let's send it a couple of steps backward so that we can see our black text and that, you know, inverted image in the middle. That's beautiful. So now we should have four layers in total. These two circles, the black text and the white text. That's beautiful. And now let's make sure that we add the same white circle to the second slide as well. So let me just paste in our blue circle back up. Let's turn it white, center align. And let's send it a couple of steps backward, just like that. And once again, there should be four layers. Okay, and let's put everything back into place and let's check it out on the full screen. So this time we get that beautiful black inverted text effect. We have the spinning inverted image circle. And I think that a simple white circle in the background helps, you know, to pronounce that inverted text effect a bit better. And by the way, here's one more animation example that I've created by using pretty much the same animation techniques that you have learned about in today's tutorial. You should be able to create this animation easy peasy lemon squeezy as well. But if you have some questions, please ask in the comments and I'll be happy to help. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you a happy new year. And if you'd like to learn more morph animation techniques, check out this video next. Stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you there. Peace.